you know, the Voyager class Optimus Primal is okay and everything, but what about this? Sup guys, and in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the new Transformers Rise of the Beast Japanese exclusive Takara, uh, Ultimate Optimus Primal. Now, as you can see, this figure is way much bigger than the Voyager class Optimus Primal. And it's a pretty big figure, and very heavy. Unfortunately, it is only sold in Japan, but Big Bad Toy Store did get a hold of these, so I recommend you check Big Bad Toy Store out. Now, this guy, of course, isn't really that accurate to Optimus Primal, but I believe this figure was based off of early concept art. I mean, does it really matter? Because I think this figure's pretty cool the way it is. And it serves really well as, like, a kid's toy, believe it or not. Okay, first of all, we gotta talk about that head. That head looks really cool. I mean, yeah, it's a little smushed, but it works. Oh, and of course, there is kibble, as there is a backpack, but you know what? It ain't that bad. Oh, and there is more alternate mode kibble over here, but hey, Studio Series Air Razor has that kind of thing. Also, this guy came in with a really cool uh, package. It looked like if it was a premium package. This, of course, is what it looks like, and it's pretty big. Yeah, I could definitely tell this is a Takara premium-ish kind of uh, box. As the Studio Series Premium Finish figures are packaged like this too. And of course there's a Takara Tomy logo. And of course it says product sold in Japan right there. But I'm not sure how Big Bad Toy Store got a hold of them. Eh, whatever. Works for me and anyone else who wants this guy. Anyways, let's get down to the accessories. Now, I gotta say, this sword is really cool. I mean, it's not accurate at all, but I do like the way it looks. Especially since they have the orange heat. Kind of reminiscing Optimus Prime's blades. Eh, it works. Hasbro has always done this to uh, mainline figures that have swords like this. Now what's interesting is that, of course the swords go through here, but you're gonna have to close in the fingers because this guy has articulated fingers. So you have to close them in just to secure the uh, grip for uh, Optimus Primal holding his swords. And of course you could have Optimus Primal dual wielded. Or you could actually close in the swords, that way Primal's holding both of his swords in just one hand. And if you're done having his accessories on his hand, you could just put them right there on that little uh, groove. Now, like any usual figure, that would have been it for accessories, but this guy comes loaded with gimmicks. His arms, for example, have uh, hidden guns inside. You just push the bottom over there, and this side gun ejects, which I think is really cool. It's spring-loaded, so you just close it in, and then do the same thing. Oh, by the way, notice these holes right here? Well, they are 5mm compatible, so you could fit any weapon that's uh, that has a 5mm peg right there. And if you have any of the Battle Masters, you could plug them in as well. If you want to plug them in anywhere else, you could you could put it on the leg over here or on the back. But wait, there's more. You gotta open up this whole uh, back over here, and you'll see these little uh, guns over here, which you gotta move outwards. You actually have to move these up, like so, and then move these... Uh, move his little uh, shoulder guns out. For some reason I can't do it, but I'm just gonna use his missile real quick to move him out. And then you just go ahead and close everything in. Come on, there we go. And of course he has his little uh, shoulder cannons, which I think is something that he had in Beast Wars. Anyways, you're just gonna put in the missiles in there like so. Now here comes the sad part. They barely shoot. You're gonna have to use a oh my goodness even by pushing them they don't work i guess you have to go like that here let's test that theory out there we go yeah not cool that kind of hurts ah whatever you know what they say no pain no gain oh by the way here he is loaded like it's a battle optimation never mind the swords just never bring him to a gunfight but wait there's more if that wasn't enough you could actually flip his uh face you could open this up rotate that and you could actually switch his uh, face from mask face to mouth face, which I think is absolutely epic. And this is something Takara Tomy has done with other uh, products, like the Age of Extinction Leader Class Optimus Prime. You know, this is an Ultimate Optimus Primal, but it looks like a Leader Class figure from 2017, specifically for Age of Extinction and The Last Knight. Oh, and I believe Takara Tomy did something similar to this for the Bumblebee movie. But with uh, Optimus Prime, they basically upscaled the evasion mode Optimus Prime and gave him more like transformation features. And he was more of this kind of scale as well. At the time of this recording, I do not have the figure, although it looks cool. But I don't think I'm going to get it anytime soon, as it is pretty expensive on the aftermarket. 
Anyways, this should be a leader class rather than an ultimate Optimus Primal. Because there was a Dark of the Moon Ultimate Optimus Prime, which was super huge, and if this is an Ultimate Optimus Primal, then this is a very inflated Ultimate figure. Eh, if you know what I mean. Anyways, let's get down to articulation. Which, of course, this figure is extremely fond of, specifically the hands. Ball joint at the head, head can move up and down, and a swivel. The chest plates like to move down and up, or pretty much close. Full rotation at the arm. Oh, there actually is a joint here that allows for a butterfly joint for this guy, so that's kind of cool. Bend at the shoulder, bend at the elbow, elbow swivel, wrist can move up and down, no articulation for the thumb, but the three fingers and the index finger are double hinged, so you can move them up and down as well, and they allow for good posability as well. Oops, almost forgot to mention wrist swivel, waist swivel, legs can spread, leg can move ah, forward, back skirt moves out, which allows the leg to move a little backwards, knee swivel, Bend at the knee. Oh man, I, it's just not enough with the ratchet joints. Ah, that's missed. And unfortunately for the foot articulation, it's just a pivot joint. Well, let's see when I cheat and move this out, like, uh, kind of like this. Oh wait, hold up, the foot can actually move up and down. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for articulation. Anyways, let's just get down a size comparison. Starting off, what better way to start off with the Voyager class Optimus Primal? War for Cybertron Kingdom, Voyager Class Optimus Primal, which, uh, if I'm being honest with you, isn't really a figure that I play with that much. But hey, still have it. Because it's worth a lot. Yolo Park Primal, Yolo Park Prime, Mainline Optimus Prime, Mainline Rhinox, Mainline Cheater, Mainline Airazor, Studio Series Airazor, Studio Series Cheater, Studio Series Rhinox, Studio Series Optimus Prime, which I heard is being discontinued target exclusive wise, Studio Series Scourge, and if that wasn't enough, here is next to the biggest thing I have, Transformers-wise, that being the Transformers Dark of the Moon Supreme Class? Uh, Jetwing Optimus Prime. Yeah, this is not a fair size comparison. If I did a size comparison with him and the Last Night Leader Class Optimus Prime and Last Night Leader Class uh, Megatron, then it would have been a little bit more fair, but <laughs> I think this one's, uh, yeah. Goaded figure, by the way. Well, anyways... Let's just get down to transformation, which is pretty much a breeze. I guess what you're gonna do first off is open this up, rotate it, and it reveals the chest for Optimus Primal uh, for his uh, maximal mode. Move this whole thing down. Uh, hold up, rotate this as well, so it allows more space for you to move this down. And then make sure you rotate everything. And I could be doing this wrong, but what I do is I keep the head like that, and then I just go ahead and close in the rest of the body, and it reveals this really cool looking uh, maximal head. Anyways, untab the backpack, which is pretty much the butt. Rotate it, leave it down like that. Uh, do the same thing like that, I guess. Um, and then fold in the front toes. And then lastly, close in the little shoulder pads. And here we have Ultimate Optimus Primal in his uh, maximal mode. Now this is one beefy boy. And I gotta say, details are pretty cool, pretty cool. Although one thing that feels a little cheesy is the uh, robot parts kibble, like right here. They could have done what they did with the mainline uh, Optimus Primal and have this open up so you could store in the feet or fold in the feet and then store them in there and then close them up. But they, did, they decided not to do that with this guy. But oh my goodness, the head is super accurate to what he looks like in the movie. It does a better job than the mainline Voyager Optimus Primal. Also, you could actually, you could still store the Battle Masters. So if you had both Battle Masters cheer, you could probably do that thing that Ape Link did where he takes a step with his uh, two arms and he ejects the swords out. I don't have the other cheaters, so yeah. I think I should start getting the Battle Masters uh, stuff. And you can still open up his uh, shoulder cannons. However, they don't aim upwards, even without the missiles. They could just only aim downwards, which could be useful for shooting at humans. Although, that, I don't think that's something Optimus Primal would want to do. But hey, he could have been pretty useful for a cemetery win slash TRF. Uh, <laughs> there we go. Ooh, that one did better. And, of course, there is articulation for this guy. Why not? That can move up and down. You could probably add this, too. But then, of course, the butt and the front skirt over here would uh, move outwards. Foot can bend like so. Toes can go downwards. Can't really do much of a waist swivel without having this open. Then you could have a little bit of a better waist swivel, of course. Arm articulation is pretty much the same thing as the robot modes. 
But for head articulation, it's a little different. I mean, not really. You just still get an up and a down. Uh, but you can actually look from left to right, kind of. And a rotation. No ball joint, though. That's fine. Oh, and by the way, weapon storage is pretty much the same thing. Oh, and before I conclude, here he is next to mainline Voyager Optimus Primal. Holy smokes, does this guy look like a deluxe class? Oh, and yeah, because why not? Here they are next to Optimus Prime. As you can see, Optimus Prime is a little bit bigger, height-wise, of course, which is pretty expected. But man, does this big guy make uh, Voyager Primal uh, small. Eh, whatever. Anyways, I think that's pretty much it. I think that's all I have to say for this guy. If you want to get him, go check out Big Bad Toy Store. Oh, overall, he's a pretty cool figure. If you want to get him for just the fun of it, then yeah, I'd recommend it. But he'd be pretty good for a collector's item as well. As he is only sold in Japan, and for the US, that would be pretty scarce. And that would make this guy a little bit rare. But anyways, if you like what you saw in this video, be sure to slam that like button. Be sure to share it with your friends as well. Turn on post notifications so that way you don't miss another video. And uh, most importantly, be sure to hit that big red button so that way we could pass 5,000 subscribers before 2024. And uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. See ya!